What's up everyone? This is Dr. Webb here. Um, it is February 2017, about to be March. Uh, so what's coming up in the um, medical community for medical students is Match Day. Very big, um, very exciting time of the year for uh, fourth year medical students. And for those who you don't, who are not aware what Match Day is, it's a day uh, every year that every medical school across the uh, United States they celebrate um, the uh, the next phase of your medical career. So most schools will have a uh, ceremony, and. You have some envelopes and everyone opens their envelopes at the same time or they, you may go up on the stage and then and then tell everyone where you matched it and what specialty um, you have these envelopes and it tells you what your specialty will be and this is after going through uh, four years of medical school uh, lots of tests uh, which can be very challenging um, and then your fourth year of medical school you interview for your particular specialty, say for instance you want to go into neurology, you have to apply for that, you have to interview. Um, if you want to go into emergency medicine, you have to interview for those programs all around the country. Um, I applied to 80 orthopedic surgery programs and I interviewed at 15 of those and um, after you interview, you rank the places that you want to go to from one to, say for instance we went on 10 interviews, you rank them from one to 10 I want to go to this program first this is my top choice and your tenth choice is a place that you know you will uh, go to but I'm not really interested in that place as much and the programs have to do the same thing and they have to rank every student that they interview so they interviewed 200 students they have to uh, rank those 200 students uh, from 1 to 200 and a computerized system um, kind of generates this list and if you match up with the program that you apply to say for instance I'm doing my residency now in UT San Antonio and if they put me at their number one choice or their top one of their top choices we match up so that's what a match process is it's in March every day every year in March of every year for uh, fourth year medical students and it's a big day lots of family lots of friends um, Here's a, um, a quick video um, about Match Day. Here is the ultimate day in medical school. We have 164 students in this class, and we are so excited for them to open up their envelopes and see where they're going to be for their residencies. And we know that there are going to be a lot of shouts for joy and really happy faces. I'm Nash at University of Southern California Psychiatry. 
elated. I, I just full of joy. I, I'm excited. I, I have no more words left. Woo! I matched here at Columbia, so it's a it's an overwhelming moment. <laughs> So I'm standing here at Columbia for orthopedic surgery. I couldn't be happier. It was my number one. I'm like in disbelief right now. <laughs> uh, my whole family's in disbelief, but it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. I love it. I'm going to Columbia! I'm feeling great. I'm matched into ENT at University of Pennsylvania. It went awesome. I met my top choice. Very excited to go into dermatology. I'm going to UCLA. I'm going to stay here for a year for my intern year and then moving to California. My name is Christopher Gonzalez. I am class of 2016 and I am staying here! <laughs> I just matched at UPenn, my number one at OBGYN. I'm so excited. Yes, I can't wait. My family is really excited. And I mean, I just can't even believe this is all true. Woo! <laughs> Everybody, do exactly what you want to do, follow your dreams, and um, yeah, just be excited about, about medicine. All right, so that video brought back a lot of uh, very good memories. Um, it's a very emotional day. It's a day where your friends and families are very excited. Um, you work so hard to get to a point uh, where you're going to be doing exactly you know what you came to medical school to do. So. Um, and for the students out there who are in your first year, second year medical students, if you're pre-med, uh, I wanted to leave some advice for you guys. Uh, and that advice is um, basically work hard. From day one of medical school, keep your head up. Um, I always tell people that it's a marathon, not a race, so definitely pace yourself. Um, learn the information well in medical school because it's you're developing a foundation and, and what you learn in first year medical school it's going to be, you know, added upon what you learn in second year, what you learn in third year. So even to this day, I'm still adding on things to what I've already learned. So um, step one is most important. You have to do well in that exam. And if you don't know what step one is, it's an eight-hour test that you take after your second year of medical school. And that's what programs use to decide how to differentiate different people, uh, applicants that apply. So step one important uh, test is most important. If you do not have a step one, um, step one score that is uh, uh, kind of competitive for that specialty, you need to rotate at that particular program that you're interested in and show them that you can um, that you can go there and just work your, your butt off. You need to be there early. You need to network. You need to uh, basically stand out. And that's how you're going to get into a program or a specialty, even if you have a lower step one score or lower grade. So... Uh, letters recommendation are important as well as your clinical uh, grades so you have to if you want to go in surgery you need to get A's or high pass honors in surgery uh, they, they do look at stuff like that so if you're a first year if you're second year of medical student third year if you're pre-med um, it goes by fast match day is a um, it's it's a definitely a day that you know everything pays off so um, you guys should look forward to it set yourself up for success, uh, study hard, and, um, you know, we'll, we'll, um, I'll be looking for you guys on match day as well. This is Dr. Webb here. My email is overcomingtheoddsbook at gmail.com. I love helping students, pre-med students, college, medical students. If you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to uh, email me, and um, I'll be happy to uh, get back with you. Uh, we will see you next time.